President Trump made a point of traveling during the pandemic to see Mount Rushmore. Remember, it was just about a month ago he gave a divisive speech there on the 4th of July. That picture was taken. Uh, he urged the protection of monuments like Mount Rushmore and statues. And there's a new report from The New York Times that says White House aides actually reached out to the Republican governor of South Dakota last year about adding Trump's face to that historic monument. You want to hear this reporting. I want to go straight to Jonathan Martin, who is uh, joining me now. Jonathan, you and Maggie Haberman uh, broke the story. It's first, let's, there are two parts of it. First is Mount Rushmore, yeah. and the other is the question about whether or not there's discussions of dropping Mike Pence from the ticket and putting in right. uh, the Republican governor of South Dakota. Let's start with Mount Rushmore. Right. So, I mean, there's uh, no reality here, right? <laughs> you know, so the president has been telling Christy Noem, who's the governor of South Dakota, for the last three years, Dana, that he wants to be added to Mount Rushmore. Now, she tells the story that she first thought he was kidding when she brought it up to him in 2017, but she realized pretty fast he was serious about it. So you fast forward to last year, uh, the White House reaches out to Noem's office and says, what is the procedure for adding new images to Mount Rushmore? So uh, this is a serious thing. And the governor, to her credit, seeing an opportunity, realizes that the, the president really cares about Rushmore and what a great tourism opportunity it could be for my state to have the president come for July 4th to Rushmore. And when he does get out there last month, Dano, she presents him with a four foot likeness of Mount Rushmore with a fifth face on the mountain. You're right, Donald Trump. 